Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will continue to talk about the gyroscopic effect. And for that, I have built this little contraption. As you can see, I have two small electric motors and they are glued to this metal triangle. We also have a couple of batteries to power the electric motors and uh, each motor has this small piece of plastic used to give some inertia and better observe the gyroscopic effect. These are uh, <clears throat> plain pieces of plastic. I mean, there is no uh, air blowing from here. It is just for inertia. And the whole thing rests on this uh, metal axis so that it can rotate freely. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. First, I will connect the motors with the same polarity in such a way that both motors will rotate in anti-clockwise direction. And let's see what happens. As you could see, the whole thing rotates also in counterclockwise direction. And remember, there is no air blowing from the motors. This is just due to the gyroscopic effect. Now I will make the connections so that both motors now rotate in the other direction, that is, both will rotate in clockwise direction. And now let's see what happens. You can see that now the whole body rotates also in clockwise direction. This movement that we observe happens in all rotating bodies and is the same effect that we observe in a tippy top. For example, here I have this mass. I'm going to make it rotate first in the clockwise direction. Let's see. You can see how we have this movement, which is what we call precession. And if we now invert the direction of rotation, now let's do it anti-clockwise. We also observe the precession now in the reverse direction, also anti-clockwise. Of course, the physics of this phenomena is very well studied. The mathematical expressions are somewhat complicated, but if you are interested, there is a link in the description of this video where you can learn more on the gyroscopic effect. Okay, so we tried with both motors running clockwise and the precession is also clockwise and with the motors running anti-clockwise, 
then the precession goes anti-clockwise too. And you may be wondering what happens if one motor goes in one direction and the other motor in the other direction. And I think you know what happens. It does not rotate because the precession of one motor cancels with that of the other. I have made the connections to make the motors run in different directions and let's see the movement. Okay, there you have it. There is some vibration because it is not perfectly balanced, but now we do not have a precession in one direction nor the other. Okay, that's what I have today for you, gyroscopic effects. I hope you liked this video. If that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for coming to my channel and see you in the next video.